hello guys welcome to mr legend crypto guys in this video we're taking a look at an all coin bond feeder currently trading for 0 0.44 dollars currently around 527 on coin market cap what's our pathway to a new all-time high for this all coin we have seen this all coin go from as high as 9.8 dollars in november 2021 we have also seen it drop to as low as 0 0.19 dollars in the 2022 bear market it's down 98 percent in the last one year right now we're down bad in the crypto bear market should we start accumulating more bond fidel getting ready for the next bull run we well, have been seeing some signs of life in the monthly time frame and on the weekly time frame bond fidel is up more than 10 percent in the last one month how high can it go by the end of the next bull run in this video we'll also be looking at bond fidel's performance against bitcoin bond fidel's performance against ethereum and we'll also look at the bond fidel market cap chart currently it has a market cap of 20 million dollars we have seen the market cap even shoot to as high as over 1.3 billion dollars at the top of the bull run the bear market is very very terrible the bear market is very very crazy the bear market is very very brutal to all coins so how high can bond fidel's market cap go by the end of the next bull run we'll be talking about that and more in this video but first guys when it comes to investing nothing will pay off more than educating yourself and investment in knowledge pays the best interest if you want to make money long-term trading or investing in cryptocurrencies, if you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions, and chart analysis, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get down to business. Guys, at the point of recording this video, we are deep in the crypto bear market of 2022. All coins are down really bad in the last one year, including Bone Fidel. Currently up 10% at the point of recording this video, currently up 13.9% in the last one week. Bone Fidel is currently up over 10% in the last one month. All coins have been down really bad, but we have seen some signs of life in the altcoin market on a daily, weekly, and monthly time frame. The problem is that Bone Fidel is still down 95% in the last one year it has gone from as high as 8.92 dollars in late november 2021 to as low as 0.21 dollars in november 2022 this is the bond fidel us dollar price chart we have seen this all coin pump to the moon in the bull run we have also seen it dumped goblin town in the bear market in the bull run we saw it go up trading to as high as over 10 dollars in just 309 days bond fidel went from as low as 0.45 dollars to as high as over $10.1. It took you just 309 days to go up 2,662%, a $1,000 investment in Bon Fidel in December 2020. It would have returned over $26,000 by November 2021. But for every good side, we also have a bad side. We had the bull market, right now we're in the crypto bear market, and Bon Fidel has been dumping to Goblin Town. We're seeing this all coin go from as high as $10.14 dropping to as low as $0.19 in the bear market. If we're pumping to new all-time highs in the future, which levels are we going to face to make our resistance? What are the levels we should pay close attention to? The first level will be the bear market low we set in 2022, around the $0.20 level. Can we go any lower than that? There's always that possibility. But right now, we have seen Bond Fidel have a huge bounce of that low. We saw it pump up more than 300% of the lows. It went from as low as $0.2 to as high as $0.84. Guys, if you have this altcoin right now, remember, this is a long-term game we are playing. Yes, you might buy it when it pumps and right now it's dumping. But guys, if you want to make money long-term holding cryptocurrencies, you have to be willing to experience the pump and the dump because at some point in time in the future, we are going to see Bond Fidel breaking this $10 region, probably entering new all-time highs. And for you to enjoy all those gains, you have to be willing to hold it deep in the bear market. Another key level to pay attention to might be the $0.58 level. We saw Bond Fidel launch at that price in December 2020. So I'll not be shocked to see that price level giving us some difficult, difficult problems before we start pumping to higher prices. We tried to rally above that price in July 2022. We couldn't close the candle above the $0.58 level. We have also tried again in November 2022, and we have not been able to close a candle above that level. Maybe, just maybe, the fourth time will be the charm. 
if we are able to close the candle above the 0.58 dollar level the next level i'll be paying close attention to as we're pumping to higher valuations will be around the 1.1 dollar level to the 1.9 dollar level now bond feeder might face some resistance at that level we might even get to as high as two dollars but the last time we saw bond feeder trading around the two dollar region was in april 2022 and what happened after that we have seen it dumped to goblin town losing more than 90 percent of its value in 222 days so this might be a very very critical level to pay close attention to we may not see bond fidel trading above the 2.11 dollar level till the end of the bear market yes is that crazy now the next level we pay attention to if we start trading above the 2.11 dollar level will be the level where we topped in may 2021 around the 3.6 3.5 dollar level if we can get above that level then bond fidel will probably be out of his bear market we'll be ready for higher prices we we'll just have two resistance levels to get through. The $5.1 level might be another important level and the previous all-time high around the $10 region might prove to be a very, very strong resistance level we might need to break through if we are going to see higher prices. But if Bonfidel can get through all this heavy, heavy resistance and we're currently trading above $10, how high do I believe it to go by the end of the next bull run? For that, we'll have to use the Fibonacci retracement tool According to the Fibonacci retracement tool, there's a chance we'll see bond feeder trading around the $42 region by the end of the next bull run. From where we're currently trading right now, bond feeder will have to go up over 9,000% for it to get to that $40 region. $1,000 investment in bond feeder right now should return over $97,000 if we see it trading that high in the future. Are you buying more bond feeder right now or are you waiting for lower prices? Let's take a look at some details about bond feeder. In the last one year, this oil coin has gone from as high as $9.39 to as low as $0.19 with a market cap of $19 million and a fully dieted market cap of $443 million. We have only 4% of the maximum 1 billion tokens in circulation. So we have over 44.7 million bond feed out tokens in circulation. Currently around 527 on coin market cap, over 25,000 people have this oil coin on their watch list so why should we get this all coin to hold through the bear market bond feeder bridges the gap between serum solana and the users its flagship serum gui brings solana data analytics to the field bond feeder api is used by some of the largest market makers in the space and has seen a growing request of 25 percent week over week where can you get this all coin if you want to get some to hold through the bear market you can get some bond feeder on binance on coinbase exchange on qcoin on Kraken on Radium, on Gib.io, and guys, anywhere you get your popular altcoins. If you take a look at Bonfidel's performance against Bitcoin, in the bull market, it had a nice time against Bitcoin, pumping to new all-time highs, going up more than 1,400% in that time frame. But what happened in the bear market? We have seen Bonfidel give back all those gains. It has gone down more than 93% in the bear market, coming back to the lowest point we have seen it trade against Bitcoin. Since the 1st of January 2021, Bonfida went to the moon. Right now, it's back to the earth. Are we going to see it go any lower in the bear market? There's always that possibility. But right now, all the gains we made in the bull market is gone. And for Bonfida to set new all-time highs against Bitcoin, Bonfida will have to go up more than 594%. If we take a look at Bonfida's performance against Ethereum, Similar to his performance against Bitcoin, but on his Ethereum pairing, Bonfidal has set new lows in the bear market. In the bull run, it outperformed Ethereum by 500%, but right now in the bear market, we have seen it lose more than 93% of its value against Ethereum. Can Bonfidal continue pumping to the upside against Ethereum? We have seen it go up more than 380% in the last 10 days. Is the bottom in? Usually when the bottom is in, we should cut a heavy, heavy bounce off the lows for Bonfidal to set new all-time highs against Ethereum in the future. It will have to outperform Ethereum by over 555%. And if we take a look at the Bonfidal market cap chart, we saw the market cap of this oil coin get above a billion dollars. The bull market is very funny. Everything goes to the moon. Everything pumps to the moon. Right now, Bonfidel's market cap is around $20 million. We have also seen the market cap drop to as low as $10 million in the bear market for 2022. 
We have given back all the gains we made in the bull run. Right now, Bonfidel is getting ready for another bull run. And for this all coin to get to new all-time highs, breaking the 2021 all-time high, it will have to go up over 2,000%. And for how high I believe this all coin can go by the end of the next bull run, guys, I will not be shocked to see the market cap get above $1.8 billion by the end of the next bull run. Guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. If you are buying some bond fidel right now in the bear market, are you expecting lower prices so you are dollar cost averaging to your position? Or are you just buying and no matter where it goes, you are getting ready for the next bull run? Drop your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video.